Hello and welcome to HD's weekly talk show, The Interview, and our special segment, Reaching Out with HD. Mention Naveen Jindal, and several images come up. A billionaire, a politician, a congressman, or a crusader. There are no prizes for guessing this one, because Naveen Jindal is certainly a crusader, one who succeeded in having the flag code amended not once, but twice. It is therefore apt that when the Tiranga campaign is at its peak, we focus on the man who fought for the right of every Indian to fly the tricolor. As India celebrates its 75th year of independence, our guest this week is Crusader, yes, Crusader Naveen Jindal. In our special segment, Reaching Out with HT, in this edition of HD's weekly talk show, The Interview. Welcome to the show, Mr. Naveen Jindal, and thank you for being here with us. And congratulations on the 75th year of India's independence. Thank you so much and same to you. There was a time when you spearheaded the Tiranga move and today everyone is following suit. How does it feel? Life, it seems, has in one sense come full circle. It's like a dream come true for me because this is a journey I started uh, 30 years ago and it was my dream that every Indian household displays the greatest symbol of our country, our national flag. And why? Because when pe more and more people would display the national flag, you know, it would automatically, they would rise above their religious affiliations, above their political affiliations and just show that they are proud Indians. And I'm really grateful to the government, to the, uh, to the Prime Minister, Mr. Modi, for spearheading this. I was just coming to that. You have lauded Prime Minister Narendra Modi's Har Ghar Tiranga initiative. This is quite against the Congress line. So see, uh, when we talk about the national flag, uh, we automatically rise above our political affiliations. So, you know, it's nothing about uh, Congress or BJP or any other political party. I've always used to say that all our national leaders, they talk about their own political party's flag. No national leader has been talking about the national flag or encouraging people to display the national flag. So, this is, uh, this is uh, you know, really good that the Prime Minister of India, Mr. Modi, he has been talking, he has been encouraging people to display the country's flag. If he was uh, asking people to display BJP flag, then you can accuse him of, you know, politicizing or then you are talking about politics. But if he's encouraging people to display the Indian flag, then obviously he is rising above his political affiliations and just encouraging people to show pride in being Indians. As against this, the Congress is showcasing Jawaharlal Nehru with a Tiranga. What would you say to that? Jawaharlal Nehru, he has had, he's made so much of contributions to, in, for modern India, right? And India's uh, independence struggle. So I don't think there should be any controversy regarding this. You know, displaying of the national flag, it's nothing but a symbolic gesture to show one's love and one's uh, faith in one's country. And I think it needs to be encouraged, but not just displaying the flag. You know, I always believe, firstly, a government has uh, launched this campaign from 13th to 15th of August. My campaign for the last 30 years has been every day. Every day of the year, we must display our greatest symbol and draw inspiration from it to do our best for the country. You know, when you're talking about the Congress, in all the years that it has been in power and which has been a long tenure, we did not see any initiative on the national flag. So actually, I would say that all the changes that are made uh, that this government has uh, now spoken about, that you can fly the flag day and night or you can have it in any fabric. It doesn't have to be necessarily khadi. It can be polyester, nylon or any other fabric. So actually in 2010, as a member of parliament, I had written to the home ministry and I had got clarification on all these issues. But now, by putting these things in flag court of India, they are amply clarified. So that is good. It's like an uh, idea whose time has come. You know, I've been campaigning uh, 
for the last 30 years, since 1992, that, you know, we should display the flag, we should display the flag. So finally, it's a national awakening, you know, everyone. And I'm grateful. I'm grateful to the government, to the prime minister and every person. Every person who displays the flag, who encourages people to display the flag. So I think it's a very positive thing and there need not be any controversy on this. Mr. Rahul Gandhi has stated that those running the Tiranga campaign come from an anti-national organization which did not hoist the flag for 52 years. Do you agree with this? No, I uh, do not agree with this. I say that if somebody was not doing it for 50 years or whatever time, but if they start to do it now, so we should welcome it. So if you know, there I, durust I, agar koi abhi bhi karna shuru kare, so what's wrong with that? So I would encourage and welcome that. In fact, the Congress has launched its own Tiranga move, My Tiranga, My Pride, pitched against BJP's Har Ghar Tiranga. With your vocal support of the BJP's campaign, what would you say to this? Different people, it's like say different artists, if you ask them to draw something, you know, drawing inspiration from the national flag, they would draw differently. So political parties also, they, when they express their feelings or their sentiments about the national flag or the country, they would do it differently. So what Congress is doing is perfectly fine. What BJP does is perfectly fine. What Aam Admi Party does is perfectly fine. If you display the flag and if you encourage the people to display the national flag, automatically you are rising above your religious political affiliations to show that you have faith in your country. So as long as people do that, I'm very happy and I would welcome them all. Isn't the Congress and some other opposition parties indulging in petty politics? Even Mehbooba Mufti, for instance, and some other leaders in Kashmir are showcasing the Jammu and Kashmir state flag instead of the national flag. See, there are all types of people, all types of people doing all types of things. So I know that all these unnecessary controversies keep coming, which like you said, are like petty politics. So again, we are a very large country. It's these All these things would also happen. So we just have to ignore some of the things. Everyone has, uh, you know, right to their own views. So that's why we are a democracy. That's why we have freedom of speech and expression. So if somebody wants to express different things, you know, they should be allowed to do so. Coming back to your legal battle, what was the sentiment what was the emotion? How, when and why did it start? In 1990, I went to USA as a 20 year old to do my uh, MBA. And I saw in America that Americans were displaying their national flag all over. Seeing them display the American flag so much, I also as a 20 year old wanted to display the American flag. But then it occurred to me, I said, but I am not American. This is not my flag. What should I do? I said, maybe I should display the Indian flag. But where do I get an Indian flag in? I was living in Dallas, Texas. So I spoke to some friends, that where can I get an Indian flag? So one of them said, oh, you can get it from India. There's another guy who said, no, there's a flag shop in downtown Dallas. You can get it from there. So then that friend of mine, after three, four days, he came, he gave me a packet. I said, what is it? He said, open it. I opened it. It was a very large Indian flag. And that was the first time I ever held an Indian flag. That was the first time I actually saw an Indian flag in my, in my hand, such a large Indian flag. I can't explain how happy that made me, how you know, inspired I was. So after completing my studies, when I came back in 92, 30 years ago, I was just 22 years old. So 26th January, we displayed the flag in a factory. You know, 26th January and 15th August, it's customary all over to display the flag. Next day I was walking by, I just saw the pole, the flag was gone. So I was like, why did you remove the flag? They said, no, 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 we can only fly on 26th January, 15th August and just, uh, you know, we cannot do it every day. Uh, I said, okay. I walked a few steps. I was like, in USA, I could have, I displayed the flag every day, nobody stopped me. In India, my own country, you know, I cannot display the Indian flag. This is Absurd. So I said, no, 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 you please display the flag every day. If somebody stops us, ask them to speak to me. So anyway, so we started to display the flag every day. One time the commissioner and the SP, they were visiting. 
they got very upset, they got the flag removed in front of them. So when I learnt of this, this happened in uh, Raigarh, uh, Madhya Pradesh at that time, now it's become Chhattisgarh. So I was in tears, that I said I can't, I did not stay back in the US like most of my friends did. I wanted to come back to India to make India the country of my dreams. I can't even display my flag here. So that's when this whole thing started and I checked up the law. The law said you cannot disrespect the national flag, which was prevention of insults to National Honor Act 1971. But it did not say that you cannot respectfully display the flag. So what was stopping us was flag code of India, who can display, who cannot display. And then I, when I studied the subject, I realized the flag code of India are merely executive instructions. They cannot, cannot take away my fundamental rights. And a display of flag is nothing but a way to express your love for your country. So this is a fundamental right under freedom of speech and expression. So I went to the Delhi High Court in uh, 1995. I won within six months. But government of India was not happy. Government of India then filed uh, SLP in uh, a Supreme Court. And Supreme Court stayed the Delhi High Court uh, judgment. And then it went on for seven long years in Supreme Court. And finally, on 23rd January 2004, Supreme Court of India, they declared display of flag as a fundamental right under freedom of speech and expression. So this was really the first time, first time in the history of this land that we Indians, we got the right to display our national flag on all days. See, it's a small act of patriotism. So the automatically when you put up a national flag, you know, your feeling towards your country changes. It's like a person displaying a political party's flag, say somebody displaying Congress flag. They vote for Congress, they support Congress. So similarly, I feel if you display the country's flag, you're going to vote for India, you're going to support India. Simple. A crusader that you are, Mr. Jindal, why did you not campaign for January 23rd to be declared and celebrated as the National Flag Day? I have been doing that. I have been doing that for the last uh, seven, eight years, that we do not have a flag day. So 23rd January is the day when we truly got the right, you know, declared by the Supreme Court, that we can display the, our, our national flag every day. So 23rd January should be declared as a flag day. I hope that happens too. See like this thing, this idea, you know, I took up in 1992. It took 30 years to, for it to become a reality. So this idea also about the, you know, 23rd January as a flag day, it's only been maybe seven, eight years since we've been campaigning. So another 20 years to <laughs> Maybe. <go. laughs> are you talking to the government? I have written letters to them, written many articles. We've been campaigning for this. So I hope uh, that happens too. Let me correct myself. Not the crusader that you are, but the crusader that you were. And I underline were, because we do not see the firebrand Naveen Jindal anymore. Why and where is that Naveen Jindal who stirred the nation? So uh, Naveen has uh, the fire burning inside. So it's just that I'm uh, focused on uh, business. We had uh, gone through a very challenging time, but we have emerged uh, stronger. And, uh, you know, the fire is there and it is burning. And now when it uh, erupts or when it comes out, you know, time will tell. Has age mellowed you or have you lost interest or has politics taken its toll? So, obviously with age, you do get uh, maturity. You know, I hope I've got a little bit of maturity. And uh, so you do uh, realize things uh, better and then you do realize your, your calling also. So I am still determined, I am still determined to make India the country of uh, my dreams. There is so much more, national flag is only a symbolic gesture. There is so much more I want to do, but obviously I have been, you know, due to various things, etc. I have been, uh, I am keeping quiet, I am just getting, you know, but I will, uh, I will, strike. <laughs> I don't know strike, but I will, uh, I will pursue whatever things are important to me. Uh, I will give my best till the last for my country. Why are you not out in the streets with the flag? Why is Naveen Jindal missing from the scene? For me, this was my dream, right? The more and more people display the national flag and automatically the feeling towards the country is going to change. So that movement, finally 
has come a reality. So it is happening. So I am really happy. If somebody wants to come and talk to me, I am very happy to talk to you. So I am there. I am the same. I have not changed. So last 30 years, I have been campaigning the same thing. So now so many people who know the subject, they know that I have been doing this. And that's all that is matters. So now if everybody else has started to take to the streets and doing this, so I'm just happy, I'm just watching and enjoying this. Yes, but that is a very laid back attitude. You should be out there. I'm here, I'm here with you. Rather than if I go out, that would not be the best use of my time. But when I'm talking to you, you know, millions of your viewers are, are watching me right now. That's very flattering, but also an escapist answer, an no, escape no. route you're taking. No, not an escape route, it's just, uh, it's happening. We work silently. Every year, we put up more than uh, 20 monumental flags all over. And you'd be happy to know that today, India has more number of monumental flags than any other country in the world. So, okay, so it just shows the people are very proud about their national flag. And the national flag would always inspire us to do more for our country. Does your wife share the same sentiment or just follows it because she is your wife? Well, my wife also feels strongly about this and she has been a great support in organizing exhibitions, in you know, making uh, books on national flag, organizing events about the national flag. So she has been a big support. My kids, I would say, um, they are they are silent supporters. I think they like liked it, but uh, they are silent supporters. Mr. Navin Jindal, thank you very much. Thank you for your time, and thank you for being here with us. And heartiest congratulations on the 75th year of India's independence. Thank you very much and same to you.